Welcome back to the Carlisle Med Gym for week nine of our hip mobility series. We're looking forward to getting back with you for some hip mobility training today. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about hip rotation and the importance of hip rotation in a couple different exercises. One of them being a little bit easier, one of them being a little bit more advanced or challenging. The first one we're gonna do is called a supine knee to knee pull in. And so we're gonna work on some, especially hip internal rotation and a little bit of external rotation and a more basic setup first. So let me demonstrate that and then we'll get to a little more advanced variation afterwards. So we're gonna go down on the mat here. Setup for this one, we're gonna go a little bit wider than shoulder width in a supine or on your back position. Your feet are outside of your hips and you're just sitting up nice and relaxed. And what we're gonna do from here is work on some hip internal rotation by doing a knee to knee pull in. So nice easy hip rotation and you're gonna go out as far as your hips will let you and then pull in. Important that you shouldn't be feeling pain on the inside of the knee when you go through this one. It should be all targeted at the hips. So we're going through that nice hip rotation, getting internal and external. So one important that we initially assess that hip internal rotation. So a great basic way to work on that. Now, if you want to take this a little bit up to the next level, we're going to talk about something called a split stance hip swivel. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute. But the importance of this one is we're going to set up first in more of an abducted position. So we talked about initially the hip being a ball and socket joint and the need to be able to move that ball and socket joint in all ranges of motion. So most people unfortunately spend pretty much all of their time in a very limited hip rotation or hip mobility position. So if you think about just walking in your everyday life, you're in a very uh, straight on, not, not moving the hip in a big range of motion. If you think about just sitting, you're not doing too much with your hip mobility and you're definitely not getting into an abducted outside of that straight, uh, straight on plane of motion. So when we go into our hip mobility drills, and especially as it relates to keeping your hips healthy and being able to move into positions that you might find yourself, whether it's maybe you're walking and you slip or you trip and you're in an awkward hip position, or maybe you have to do something that requires a little bit of different hip mobility, you don't want that to be the first time you've ever experienced it. So we wanna train it in the gym and train a little bit of hip rotation in a more abducted position. So as we go into this, we're gonna start incorporating both hip abduction and hip internal and external rotation. So we can incorporate a lot of aspects of hip mobility right into one drill. So as I set up for this, I'm gonna be on a padded surface here. We're gonna go into a abducted split stance position. So one leg straight, I'm getting some pretty good adductor stretching on the inside of that leg. This leg can either be underneath you or just a little bit farther out to the side to increase that stretch. And what we're gonna do from here is focus on this straight leg and just go through some hip swivels. So we're gonna internally rotate the hip by going toe up, heel up, toe down, and rotating forwards, and going then toe up, heel down, and rotating backwards into external rotation. So we're going through these two ranges of motion, moving the body with the leg a little bit, but again, important that you're not collapsing the back to get there, you're moving through the hip. So rotating up, rotating down. Shouldn't cause any pain as you go through that. Which may be a little tight, maybe a little bit hard to do, but no pain as you go through that. And really, again, a crucial one to work on both hip rotation as well as hip abduction and put you in a position that's gonna help you lengthen some of those muscles that you don't normally lengthen in everyday life. 